At the Natural Capital Project, we employ an ecosystem services approach. And to us, that has three key elements. And the first one is to build a body of evidence that really just is a proof, a proof case that natural capital information can be readily employed in decisions and it changes the way people think about development and conservation objectives. And this one really involves co-development of scientific information and natural capital metrics with decision makers and scientists talking back and forth very iteratively over a period of time where the scientists listen to the decision makers, what kind of information would help them take their decisions at what scales, what kind of currencies, and then the scientists produce information, sometimes develop new methods that they never would have thought of needing before. And then there's a lot of back and forth with presenting information, ways to visualize it. And that co-creation of that information is what's the really fun part of that first step. It takes longer than a standard science research project might take, but it's been fascinating for our scientists to see how incredibly in interesting and innovative those science questions are that come through those deep discussions with decision makers. So that's the first one, building the use cases to show that this is a possible approach and it really does transform decisions. The second one is to then take those new methodologies that were developed in that co-development process and put them into very open and accessible tools so that people can use them, replicate what has been done in a couple of these demonstration cases, and then improve upon them. And the final one is then to mainstream this information, so to really take it, communicate it, make sure that people have access to the stories and the tools, and engage visionary leaders to help really spread the uptake of this approach.